A new report in the UK is proposing that the best way to get fruits and vegetables onto people's plates could be through doctor's orders. It's calling for prescription vegetables and a three billion pound tax on junk food to help fight the country's obesity problem. Tessa Arcilia is following this story for us from London. Okay, so Tessa, what exactly is this report recommending? Well, you asked the question, should it be just what the doctor ordered? So this report was looking at the food system, how to reform the food system in order to, first of all, make the population healthier, but also to protect the public health system. And one of the suggestions is indeed, so first of all, to tax sugar and salt, as well as to get doctors to prescribe fruit and vegetables, officially prescribe them to their patients. Now, look, this is already happening to a certain extent. Doctors are telling their patients, you've got to do this to stay healthier. And one charity says that they already do have some patients being referred to them by doctors. Take a listen to how it works for them. So what I aim to do is to reduce GP consultations, to reduce hospitalizations and to try and tackle in a holistic way how to help people improve their health and well-being. Now, the issue here, Arthi, is that this is essentially amounting to, again, telling people what they should and shouldn't do. One of the arguments uh, coming up here, but the problem really is quite big here in the UK. There are 64,000 deaths a year related to health and obesity, and it's costing the economy some 74 billion pounds. And of course, there's also that uh, impact on climate change of global food production. So this is what that study was looking into in how exactly to be able to uh, help change and just uh, reform the entire system itself. Now, there is also the issue of if you tax sugar and salt, what does that mean for consumers, especially those that will be most impacted by them, those in the lower income category? Take a listen to this woman who says that it is really difficult to be able to afford healthier food for her. Take a listen. We had a the ideal amount of fruit and veg in our diet. It would be easier to create stuff, I suppose, that was easy to eat. You need variety, and it's the variety that costs. I could uh, pay for it, but it means something else has to go. It is a big issue with different factors, different sides of the argument. I mean, they're also looking at improving education, food education in systems. But I think the the realization here of the government, that's why they ordered this uh, study, is that something has got to change because the health of the society isn't getting better. Arthi? And, you know, we found globally, I guess, around the world that uh, after the past year and a half, so many underlying issues have sort of been brought to the surface during the course of the pandemic. And the report's author actually says that that was partially the case here when it comes to the painful reality check, when it comes to food and health. How has COVID-19 really shed a light on those issues in the UK? Yeah, the head, uh, the lead author of this report, Henry Dimbleby, he said, look, this was a massive wake up call. And it is not something new during this pandemic. The uh, chief of the World Health Organization, he did say earlier this year that there is compelling evidence that obesity is linked uh, to COVID deaths. Now, the data from Johns Hopkins earlier this year and the WHO uh, show that for countries with a population uh, with less than 50 percent of them obese, there is only a tenth uh, risk of dying from COVID and it gets higher as the the population gets more obese. So this is the kind of evidence that really came out during this pandemic. And here in the UK alone, I mean, the uh, obesity rate here is above 60 uh, percent and or, you know, COVID deaths here was one of the highest in the world. So there is a correlation. And even the prime minister himself has had acknowledged, you know, that this is something that really needs to be addressed. Arthi. Thank you for this, Tessa.